This is Jared with Self Reliance Essentials. We're going to show you a couple of things from Lancer and an AR-15 build that I did for a friend. Um, let's see if we can get a good picture here. Um, I dabble in gunsmithing work, mostly building ARs and Glock trigger jobs and stuff like that. It's a lot of Cerakoting. Um, I built this upper half for a friend of mine and uh, put it together with a Lancer handguard. This is a carbon fiber setup, really lightweight, and it's a mid-length gas system, 18, no, 16 inch carbine barrel, a Yankee Hill gas block, front sight, and an LAR Grizzly rear, I mean upper receiver, Ops 4 side charging upper receiver. Uh, this is my lower, and um, it's got a nice new Ergo brand um, buttstock, which I really like. I had to deburr a lot because there's some sharp edges when, I'm, when it cut me when I was putting it together. Anyway, here's a Lancer magazine, translucent. This is the best magazine I've ever used for both 223 and 300 Whisper. Also, I imagine it worked well with uh, that 762 by 40 Wilson tactical. Um, got this zeroed in with a bore sight with the irons, and I threw this EOTech on there which is from another gun. Um, so we're going to shoot a few rounds and see what happens. Hopefully it'll go bang and hit where we don't want it to inject and everything. Haven't really dialed it in since I um, assembled it. First shot. It works. Um, this is a standard uh, A2 flash hider, and um, it kicks a lot more with this on it than that Miklik compensator I tried earlier. Um, so that may be something to look at, is if you want a gun that's light, this top half only weighs five and a half pounds, then uh, you might want to go with a Miklik or some other compensator, or maybe a suppressor mount, because uh, this it kicked, and it's a light gun. Uh, the balance is really pretty much in the middle though, which is kind of nice. I'm used to heavy barreled uh, 20 inchers. So uh, if you need uh, an upper built with Lancer parts, uh, give me a call. And um, of course, LAR Ops 4. This is great uh, upper half for upper receiver for pistol builds because you can carry them real close and you don't have a charging handle sticking you in the guts. Uh, it may not be quite as tactical because there's no dust cover, but I'm really pleased, uh, especially for um, environment uppers or, or where you need a little more rigidity. This is a, a, a high strength upper half or upper receiver with a lot more meat on it than a standard A4 upper. So uh, that's all I got to say over now.